Well, the good news is my house didn't burn down. So I was in my living room watching TV and all the lights went out. Of course, I'm on my solar circuits. And I was thinking, oh crap, you know, batteries are going. You know, they're already crap anyway. But it wasn't the batteries, it wasn't the DC side. Check this out. Look at here. I can't make this shit up. Look at that. Cooked. So this receptacle either got too hot or something in there. I've got it switched off at the circuit breaker. This is cold circuit right now. But it looks like we have to replace that right there and replace this right here. Look at that. Wow. Got hot or something. I think the inverter is fine. Uh, Midnights are doing well, and the batteries are holding tough. In a couple weeks, I'm going to probably write a big check and get some batteries. I'm going to call Amy at the Alt E store and see what she has over there. Probably do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll talk with her. But, uh, yeah, I can't make this stuff up. You know, they're just... All I'm doing with this system right now is when the sun is up, I'm making power, charging, and holding the loads. And then when the sun goes down, you know, these batteries don't have much reserve, so maybe get a couple of kilowatt hours out of them, right? And that's all she wrote. And I went back in my Outback Power um, website here and was just looking, looking through some of the uh, numbers from a couple years ago. And man, I tell you, it was cranking, doing well. When I had 12 batteries and everything was working good, but man... I guess I am lucky I was here when this thing fried. And it looks like I'm just gonna recheck all these connections here. Like I said, that's cold down there. Circuit breaker didn't pop from what I can tell over there because I have a dedicated circuit for the solar input. I'm sorry, for the solar inverter. Of course, I got it turned off right now. So that's what feeds AC in right there. So, long story short, I've got a job to do. Get this thing back up to running. And one of the things I noticed on the Mate 3 here said, you know, over here on the AC side, it had zero. <laughs> so, it's drawing a lot of power through this right here. Look at that. Get in there real close. Yeah, it's crunchy. See that right there? loose. I'm going to rip this open and see what, see what we got. Yep, that's one crispy critter. Check that out. Wow. Look at that. Freaking flaking off and breaking right there. Look at that. Wow. Got hot. <laughs> Should probably pull that out and see what that looks like there too. All right, I pulled the AC in from the circuit breaker. This is one of those little L5 type deals. This is cold, but uh, I'm so glad we put in extra heavy duty wiring with the electrician in here. I can fix, I'll probably have to replace this. But, uh, yeah, this is fun times. Looks like it got a little bit hot right down there. See that right there? It's very difficult to see. It looks like it got kind of warm right there too. So, so my concern is I've been running this thing with the charger function. Ah, uh, and I may not be doing that much longer because what happens is I'm pulling 5,000 freaking watts through this right here. Um, I don't think this is strong enough to handle it. This is like a 30 amp max on here, L530. And I think that's what was happening. So you multiply 30 times 120 volts, what is that, 3,600 watts, and I was pulling a hell of a lot more through there. And the circuit breaker over there 
is rated at 40 amps, so 4,800 watts, if my math is correct. So this is too much to use the charger and hold loads at the same time with this inverter. That's what I think what's going on. So probably not going to be using the charger function to prolong the life of these batteries. Uh, it's just too much load on AC in and then going AC out back over to the uh, Reliance controls and then back into the house. So lessons learned. Didn't burn the house down. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps the next guy out. Didn't burn their house down.